Hello guys, welcome back to the Trail Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix PS4 error code NP349589 which is happening for many of the users down the road and we're going to talk about the fix on this. So the first one is all about you have to check whether you're going through any kind of PSN server status whether which means it's all about checking yourself whether they're going through any kind of server outages or whether they're going through any kind of issues and you just need to cross check that is the first step and that's what you have to do the first step so i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to this so here i've already in the link so that will take you to this page and once you land on this you'll be able to understood whether you are going through any kind of issue now from this you'll be understood clearly so if the issue is with the server this is actually uh, we cannot fix it from our side all we have to do is we just need to wait a little bit till they fix it from their end and that is what we have to do Next one is all about we need to go for the configure the PS4 DNS setting which is quite simple as it is. For that first thing what you need to do is just need to open your console and go to the settings menu over there. Now from there you just need to go to the network and from there you have to go for set up for internet connection. Now from there you have to choose the connection type you are using. Either you can go for Wi-Fi or you can go for LAN. You can set any one of the thing. Next one is for you have to go to the IP address and we have to go for custom. Then you just need to go for selecting while selecting the DHCP host name which can be done or choose do not specify and from there you just need to go to DNS setting and you have to set this to manual. Now we have to give the value for the primary DNS the value is 1111 and the secondary DNS value is 10001. Now you have to close the setting and you have to restart your PS4 and that's what you have to do. Most probably by trying this, this has to be fixed or if it's not working, we have to go to the next one. That is all about we have to deactivate and reactivate all the consoles. For that, we just need to go to the op. We have to open the website of the PlayStation and you have to sign into your account. Once after that, go to the device management section. Now deactivate all the console attached to your account from here and change the password of your account. Then you just need to go back to the PS4 and sign into your account back. Now open the account settings and activate your console as the primary one. Last and the least one is all about, you have to contact the support team of the PS4 and you have to talk to them. They're going to help you guys out. So these are the possible workarounds which can be tried from your end when you're having the issue. And I hope this video is helpful. If you have any doubts, do ask in the comment sessions and we will get back to you. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.